So how do Republicans win in a state that's looking a little less like Texas and, as I said, a little more like California? Well, Texas State Senator Pete Flores may have an idea. Now, he was a Republican underdog who flipped the largest legis legislative district in Texas from blue to red, surfing over, you know, the blue wave that was supposedly swamping the state. Now, this is the night he won his election. For the first time in history, we have an Hispanic Republican senator. I have a message for the Democrats that Pete Flores and his hard work delivered here. All this talk about a blue wave, well, the tide is out. Senator Flores joins me now. Senator, can't believe you're not in studio. It's really cozy in here. I wish you were here. But how did you become the first Republican to represent your district in 139 years? And how did, uh, I guess, talk radio help, Fox News ad buys? I was reading about that today. Well, it's, uh, first it's by the grace of God and then hard work. That's how we did it. Uh, very simple, very straightforward, very American, very Texan. That's uh, in, in, in a very succinct way. That's basically how we did it. Well, you also had a, someone who you tried to defeat in 2016. I think you lost by 14 or so points. Oh, no, 30, uh, and he, 30, 33 you know, points. Thir oh, it was 30 <laughs> points. Oh, God, I'm giving yes. you more credit than you deserve. But he ends up getting indicted, right? And he's out of the picture. Yes. So you run, you defeat everybody. And it was a shock. I mean, you're, friends of yours today described you as kind of, he's so nice, he's just beloved, he's so mild-mannered. And then, look, you have Trump coming into Texas, and he's like, <laughs> you know, he, bull in a china shop, some people say, but he's a different type of candidate. But you both have a similar outlook on these financial uh, issues, fiscal issues, and, of course, on the need to enforce our southern border. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it's it's... What, what, what we did is we had a strong grassroots organization. We never stopped working. We, don't, we never took people for granted. Uh, you know, we never met a stranger. Our, our values are the same as most people in Texas, but especially in southwest Texas that I represent. You know, God, family, and country is very important to us. Uh, you know, whether you call yourself a Democrat or a Republican, ultimately we in te Texans and southwest Texans hold those values dear. And we dealt with, with, with the pillars of the issues, that is, public safety, uh, education, property taxes, health and human services. Uh, you know, those are the things that we dealt with primarily as we went through our 17 counties and visited with folks from all spectrums, from the big cities to the smallest towns out in the West on the border towns. So it was, that, those uh, are the, the issues that, that got us, that yeah. made us win. Yeah, so, Senator, the Democrats think they're going to flip this state. Are they going to flip this state? No, ma'am, I, I don't think so. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, you, what, you, what you're hearing mostly is from a very vocal uh, group, but the silent majority spoke in my race, and they're going to speak again in 2020. And uh, it, it, this, is, this, this state is no longer going to be a straight ticket voting state. It's a check the box Thank in God. 2020. So it's no one can, for them to predict that they're going to take it, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's not, you know, that no one can say. But what, what I can say is that we're going to work hard. We're going to continue to represent our, our constituents. Right. And, and that's how we're going to win. All right, Senator. And Senator Flores's district also spans 400 miles of the border, so he's dealing with all of those issues. Senator, we're going to check back with you on all that you're confronting there as well with your constituents. You. Uh, it's a fascinating story, and I hope the Trump campaign is watching this one. Well, coming.